Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing a video where we're going to look back into 2020 and see exactly what happened on the channel. We're going to go through some old videos that we've played and um, that we've made and we're going to be explaining. We're going to be talking to you guys exactly about what happened in 2020 because as you all know it has been a bit of a strange year. Followed into 2021 it's going to carry on being very strange. So currently, truthfully, I'm actually at home. I've now got to self-isolate for 10 days due to being around someone that had a positive COVID test at work. So I'm now isolating. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to sit there and make a good detailed video and talk to my viewers. So as you know, 2020 was a very strange year for a lot of us within the world. Um, worldwide pandemic that is going on, obviously, as we all know, as the coronavirus. But we're not here to keep dwelling on that. We're going to hear and we're going to look back at what I've managed to deliver to the channel for 2020 and exactly how I'm going to try and go forward in 2021. So on January the 21st, what you're going to have to do is bear with me. I'm reading it off of a list here, but we're going to uh, talk about exactly what happened. So January the 21st, 2020. This was a big moment for me within my channel and within my own personal life. This is the day that I actually reveal to you guys that I've got another Fiesta ST 180 to deliver mods to the channel and also deliver happiness and some great stuff to myself in the personal sort of environment. So at the moment, that, that actually took off really, really well. A lot of surprise. Obviously, there was a bit of a gap, like a few month gap where I didn't record because I had the VX on. just was not happy with what was happening with it and uh, vice versa. I just didn't really enjoy the car. But, you know, I got myself back in a good financial situation. And I managed to purchase another Fiesta ST, which I'm not sure, but you should be able to tell by this clip, I was very excited. That's right, boys and girls. <laughs> I have brought another Fiesta ST. I'm sure you can all tell by my reaction already in this video. I am so, so, so happy. I missed my old one. It always put a smile on my face. I didn't want to sell mine, but at the time, circumstances I had to. But I'm in a better circumstances and everything like this. So I brought myself another Fiesta ST. That moves us on to January the 24th, 2020. On January the 24th, I decided to do my first sort of mod to the Fiesta ST. And that was upgrading my headlights. That was, I do believe, some CUK bulbs and just stuff like that. I had to do this because I remember one of them blowing. And I thought, you know what? perfect idea for a new video so I uploaded it to show you how to do it and you know just a little video for you guys to see exactly what they're like and how easy they are to really install <laughs> just they are still on at the moment, so I'm going to show you what they look like. But I just, it's easy to keep them on when I do it. It's not going to damage it. So to get rid of these, you literally just like you're taking the bulb out. You've got to twist it, and then they just come off. Obviously, it's quite hard to do it one-handed. I don't want to damage the wires. So I'm going to do this bit off camera. So as you can see, it's so much better. Nice LED unit in there. That yeah, will shine so bright at night. They are really, really bright. So after doing a time-lapse installing video, I realized it actually took off really well. So I decided to try and take that into my future videos um, because it was just something that appealed to you guys. So moving on, it comes to February the 1st, obviously 2020. <laughs> I'm not going to keep saying 2020, but February the 1st. What brings us to February the 1st was a video that we called uh, Willis Make It Louder. And it's where I made a trip to Pipecraft in Basildon. Um, if you don't know where it is, check out the video on the channel. Links all down in the description. And for £50, I believe it was, £50, £55, something like that. What they've done, obviously, you've got your resonator in the middle. I took out the mid-reds and just put a straight pipe into it. And uh, just to see if it made a bit of a difference. And also, what I did in that video, I did this describe about how I thought it did make a difference. And if I thought it did or if it didn't. It was more of just an informative uh, video for you guys to see if it's something that would appeal to you. If you didn't want to go and spend straight up like six, seven hundred quid on an exhaust system, you had this option to do it to make that stock exhaust that little bit more louder. We're heading down to somewhere called Pipecraft in Basildon. Um, it's in Essex. If you don't know where it is, I'll leave a link down in the description of the company page on Google. Check them out. They've worked on a few of my cars now, and they are quite good. And they're good. For, and basically, what they do is make custom exhausts and stuff like this. So they're just doing the exhaust now. Pretty bloody cold. They're just welding it now. Um, Hence why I'm over here, not looking. It's freezing. So 
after I'd done that, it came to February the 9th. I decided to do a video that's a bit different. So when you're making videos, in my opinion, it's all about being like testing videos. So for example, in this next one, the title is more Fiesta ST mods. But the difference is, is that I started this off as like a more of a vlog, like a daily little vlog. So I remember that we went to go and look at some cars and then got a bit of a Costa, went for a drive, went for some food, and then we done a little bit at the end on the actual car. So I still tried to make it a bit sort of car related from going to Fords and looking around a few cards, but it's just something more of my day to day life, which I wanted to see how it went. If I look at the figures right now, I can see that we actually had a 98.8% like ratio, which is really, really good. And um, it had really well on views as well. So that really did take off. So I'm guessing to you, that is what they like. So again, in the future, I will make some more sort of videos like that. Okay, I've got a new car. Um... I know I said it wasn't for me, the car, but I kind of lied. It is for me. I wanted a second car, just saying that I could rag around, don't really care about, just sort of uh, chill, really. But this is what I've decided to get. Here we go. So, just spent a couple of pounds on it, not too much. It's got nice Brembo brakes. Look at them. Cool. Look at this. It's not too bad for just a little daily car, I suppose. It would do. And just... She's just ruined my video. <laughs> and just like that, I wake up from a dream. Oh, if only. Now, let's be more realistic. Have a look over here. Look at these ones. Right, so Tom's finally made it. We just had a nice Nando's. There, iron up my car. So, you would have seen this car on the channel already, but it's got a lot of lot and i mean a lot of changes from last time we're not going to be walking around this car today because we're going to meet up when it's better weather conditions and we're going to do a full review of this car but it's just so nice and so well done um it's more in the center but it has a bit of a bigger ball and is it 20 yeah, percent airflow yeah mountain flow 20 percent more airflow so little bit. that'll work really well because especially here we've got the uh, m215 kit obviously upgraded induction kit so that in there as well i've seen some with like the yellow and blue and it don't look too bad yeah but because i've already seen a few with it i'm going to sort of change it because i don't want it to look the same as everyone else because you know what the full community is like you're copying me as they like to say <laughs> so that was sort of like my vloggy day-to-day -day video as well as sort of a bit of car install at the end i remember we installed the induction hose to my fiesta st at this point this is really really sort of going back to when my car was really standard um and obviously met up with a few friends XYZ it was really really nice and again like I say with the ratios and stuff it actually really took off really really well So moving on to February the 25th I had done a walk around of my car of everything that I'd done to the car already Just a bit of an informative video which I will put out there I am overdue one I need to make another one There is so much that's happened to the car since this I watched this video actually earlier before we started recording this And it was just amazing to see how much change I've done already um, In the space of technically a year because I've had the car about a year now um, a lot has changed, but we've done a bit of a walk around video as you can see and we sort of pointed out all the bits that I've done to it and what I'm hoping to do to it. Just to sort of give you a bit more information about people who have an ST and want to do sort of basic mods that are not going to break the bank too much. But again, it's affordable, doable and it makes a big difference. What we've got here, which you have already seen, is a paint mods engine cover. So as you can see, rear spats, again, pinstriped, matching the other side. So we've, like I said, full TRC kit. The next actual mod, this is what people are gonna love or hate. I've got some rally flaps there off of Rapid Ralph and I had my own custom air tech put onto it, which are reflected as well. So in the night they reflect, which is pretty cool. It's really nice and I kind of like it how it gives the back end sort of fatter ass <laughs> is that the word to use the car is sitting nice and level that is because this is actually running ibet pro line uh it's redline pro springs and they are priced at about 170 pounds 
and I've got to say I had H&R 35 mils on my old car and I didn't really like them but these I couldn't recommend them enough they are really really good it obviously the ride is a bit harder but that's what you're going to get when you lower your car but it's nowhere near as bad as the H&R's and it actually sits level like I was never happy with how the um, H&R sat at the rear but this just sits perfect so if anyone wants to upgrade your springs at not a bad price I'd recommend looking at the iBet because it's probably the ones for you. But the next install video was on March the 11th and this uh, involved the throttle spacer install. It was a video that was sort of I enjoyed making but I didn't like the end result if that makes sense. So for example it done really well it has actually got a 94.8 like ratio and quite a good amount of views. Again but it's a mod that I just I haven't got it on the car now, to be true with you, I took it straight off. I just didn't really like the feel of it, and the quality of it as well wasn't too great. But to me, in personal opinion, I didn't think that was just me. Some people love them because it does level up your throttle. But to me, it was just a mod that I just took off because I wasn't really too keen on it. Cheap, cheerful mod, so I didn't lose any much money on it. Probably about a £10, if that. Um, so it wasn't something that I've wasted money on. But it's something that I tried, didn't like it, so I moved on. But I still made a video for you guys for the people that do want to install it and might enjoy it. What we're going to do, we're going to have a little play around, see what tools we actually need, and I'll explain to you what this potentially is going to do. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you. All right, so as you can see from this angle, the throttle actually sits a lot further down than the braking clutch. Obviously, that's quite standard, but obviously, if you want to get off your braking and to accelerate it quicker, it's just a little body. We're going to undo these nuts up here, and it should then raise it and have it matching level. So as you can see on your pedal, you've got one nut there and one just up there we need to undo them two completely and then it will take your whole um, accelerator off which we'll do right now so hopefully if I turn this around just one handed okay so let's go out to the garage quickly and see if the good old granddad's got a socket set that's going to have deep enough sockets because trying to do that with a ratchet spanner is just so long but we'll see so what i'm going to do is put the nuts in and i'll show you exactly what it looks like after right you can all laugh at me as much as you like so basically the writing does go to the side but just have it turned upside down the way i had it on the actual spacer so i'll try and show you now also like i said i've never done one of these in my life um, i'm sort of going in blind not even watched another video of it so i don't really know um but i'll show you what i mean and it's really really easy look I'll show you so we still got the flat bit here but I had this if it's gonna focus I had this bulge bit here facing upwards just spin it round so that bulge bit is pointing sort of inwards does that make sense what I'm gonna potentially show you now is the difference so as you can see this is all level now Exactly that. I'm looking forward to driving it later to see what it's actually like. So just make sure they're nice and tight. Really quick, easy mod. And um, yeah, I'd go and grab one for yourself if you've got a Fiesta ST. So as we move on to the next video, this is March the 29th. As you all know, March is a very difficult year for us back in 2020. This is when COVID basically all came around and we got put into our first sort of lockdown, national lockdown. It was very difficult um, and I wanted to sort of make a video just to describe you my opinions and my thoughts to everyone else, especially for people that do YouTube full time and have this as their income. I can understand it's going to be very affected. But again, I know there's a lot of um, sort of schemes and stuff that the government's put in place to help people like yourselves. So I made a little video about my personal opinion and about how difficult it's gonna to be to try and make future videos, but we will see. Um, but all I can say is just well done to everyone. I wanna just thank you, all key workers, everyone that's worked through it, your family, your friends, people that have um, you know, like survived, and my thoughts to your friends and family and everyone else, to the people that have lost their friends, families, and stuff like that, I really do sort of understand that. Um, I'm gonna make a future video talking about different things that I've got in mind, like, I want to be there for my viewers and supporters. So if you ever feel like you're alone, you're not alone. Just remember that. That's all I want to say um, is that you're not alone. You can always DM me. You can DM your friends. Uh, to me, talking to someone that doesn't know me or know my personal history or anything like that, I get on better to talk with because they, they can't judge you. I can just blurt it all out and they're there to listen and not judge. That, that's me and I want to do that for you guys. So if you do feel down throughout the COVID or just in any time, not just because of COVID, um, please just message me. My, obviously my Instagram's blue underscore ST180. 
and you know we'll try and talk to you and just see how we can work together we're a team at the end of the day and we've all got to work together to get this world better understandably so moving on from the negative from the horrible covid that's been going on and still obviously continues to go on we're actually in lockdown as it stands we done a few videos a couple of little ones in between a basic interior clean and some auto lights um, auto lights auto beam lights install but the next one that really did take off was the air tech induction kit review that i did um, i didn't do an install for this one because i actually filmed it at some mates at this point um blah 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 whenever i could do it and it was safe to do so and this is going all the way to like the 30th of april so it's nearly a month after i made the covid video that i actually got to make a proper sort of video because you want to keep in the guidelines and you want to keep in your restrictions because at the end of the day this is going worldwide you do not want to be breaking any rules and to be honest if you break rules you're only going to be affecting yourself and your personal family you're not really going to affect everyone else you're just going to spread it so think about yourself and think about your family it sounds really selfish but trust me if we all done that for a period of time then hopefully this could decrease uh, well decrease quicker than it is increasing with some hope but it's going to be a long way off so the air tech intake kit review that I've done was sort of one that I really enjoyed to do. Got out in a bit of fresh air, just walked around exactly what I've done, went for a bit of a drive and just managed to speak some information to you guys and sort of show you a piece of kit that is not breaking the bank, but it is sort of like affordable and it makes such a difference. I think these kits are about, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you no more than £200 for that the whole kit. I'm not really too sure, but they do different stages that you can get. Again, I do explain it in the video and I have it up on screen so you can sort of see different prices and stuff like that. Right, so we're going to go through what you actually get in the kit. This one is just the filter. So as you can see on screen, which I'll put now, is all different auto specialist designs that they do. As you can see, they do just the filter with the bracket. They do a full system where you get the crossover and hose. You get another system that's just the hose and the filter. Just for this um, kit that I got, I already had the induction sort of mounting hose. So I've just got the filter and the bracket. So as you can see, the only annoying thing is is on all of them the air tech's actually upside down and it is really really annoying i thought it might have just been the way i fitted it but the um math sensor can only go one way and i looked at other videos and they're all the same which is really really annoying so obviously in this kit you get your filter you get your uh, math sensor and you get obviously the bracket with a nice air tech sort of sticker on there it's quite cool how it's blue to match the color of the car So within a little jump, obviously we've gone from April, May, we've done a couple little videos. Again, couldn't really do much. Uh, July, but this next one that we actually done a big sort of install was July the 20th. Again, this was another um, really good video it took off. It got 100% like ratio, so you can't get better than that. Um, with a good amount of views and good feedback within the video. This was the CEUK dress up kit, engine bay kit, which was influenced by another uh, YouTuber, which I did mention within the video. And it's just something that's really cheap, cheerful, and it made such a difference. And for this kit, you're not looking at more than 20, 30 pounds at the max. And just for some little washes and some screws, it's amazing how much it actually opens up and makes your car appearance a lot different and a lot better. Just tidies it up, makes it look smarter, and it just makes that a little bit more unique than everyone else is. Okay, so for this install, you're gonna need a crosshead screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver or a Torx bit, because then here you can use a flathead or a Torx bit, whatever is easiest. Have a look around the whole car. It all works so well. It's really, really smart. For the price of them as well, I think they're like £20 with the VAT and all that. They're just so worth it. They look really, really good. So followed on from that video, we're going on to July the 27th, where we installed CUK RGB Halo Lights. We've done a full install video about how we've done this. And sort of, we when I do my install videos, I talk about, I'm doing it how we're doing it. I'm not showing you exactly how to do it, but this is how we've done it. Any problems we come along the way, 
we sort of uh, tell you, just in case you come across that problems, but it's sort of a guidance more than anything. It's not, I'm going to say, this is how you do it 100%, because, of course, we're just human. I'm not a mechanic or anything like that, and we try and do as much as we can to help you guys, and any problems we come across, we will tell you along the way. video that I'm going to talk to you guys about was the Powerflex rear springs isolators. One of them mods that needed to be done, I enjoyed doing and what a difference it made. So I was driving down the road and I remember I was going around the bends, you know, a bit of back road driving as they say, doing the speed limits of course. And uh, I was going around the bends and all I could hear was a horrible scraping noise. I looked underneath and oh my god, watch the video and you'll see exactly how battered my rear isolators were. Right. So these are the standard cheap horrible ones. As you can see, mine are absolutely knackered. And I wonder why I was getting a, a lot of weird noises. Crumbling just as I touch them. <laughs> obviously, what they should look like compared to these. This has even lost the bit that sticks into the hole. It is absolutely mullered. As you can see, it's lifting it all back up to the rear shock so we can put the uh, bolts back in. Alright, I'm going to leave it back there, I'm going to quickly just get underneath the car, make sure the springs are all in the right section and they're not misplaced, so before you bolt it up so you can actually turn them, because as soon as you put pressure on it and bolt it up, there's no way you're going to be able to turn these, so the best bet is get underneath, have a little look, make sure it's all good, and then you can pop the bolts back in. Bringing us all the way to September the 19th, obviously we had some videos in between that as well. But this is one that I really enjoyed doing. We got our hands dirty and we got underneath the car and we also installed a turbo smart blow off valve. Again, we show you how exactly that we done it and for you to guide and what a difference it made. The noise that comes from it, I had one of these on my old Fiesta ST and it was one of them mods where I just had to get it again because it's really, really cool. The turbo noises that it comes off, really nice and it just makes your car stand out that little bit more. So moving on to October the 18th, a very, very exciting video. I was so looking forward to making this. I managed to get myself a stage three AirTech intercooler, but it came in black with some writing on it, which I didn't really like. So I customized it and made it my own. So I liked copying the silver with black writing. I've always wanted one. If I was gonna purchase a brand new one, that is exactly the uh, ideal what I'd go for. So what we've done is we got some primer, we got some spray paint and we got a stencil and we've made it our own. And it, what an outcome, it, it was brilliant, it really, really good. November the 8th was the day that we actually got to install my intercooler that we painted. It was solid dry, we'd done the graphics on the front, we let that dry, and it was just ready to install. This was a mod that I was very nervous about doing because I've never actually taken off the bumper and stripped the car right to, at the front to get a new intercooler on. But I learned so much along the way, thanks to Seb, shall I say. It was very interesting to make a video about it, and it's interesting to see how it works, and again, what a difference it can make. So that was a really, really exciting video until it got dark and then it made it a bit challenging. So for everyone that has worked and carried on producing videos throughout this tough time, I wanna say a massive thank you to you guys. And again, just remember that you are not alone. And uh, I just wanna say thank you for your time to watch this video. If you are at this point, then thank you very much. I wanna just say keep subscribing, keep liking and follow the channel. And without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today and I can't thank you enough. So I have rambled on a bit in this video, but it's a video personally from me that I wanted to give to you guys to talk about what I've done on my channel and a little bit of an insight about the whole COVID and stuff like that and how I feel about it. My next videos, it will be 2021 now. And although it's still going to be a difficult year, we'll try and make it the best year. And I say this all the time and I will put 110% into getting this channel growing and this ST will be the best. <laughs> He says. So guys, like I say, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys.